Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Today I have a 12 by 12 process video to share with you using the Doodlebug Great Outdoors collection. And I will make sure and leave a link for this collection in the description box below. So to start out, I have this uh, dark blue polka dot pattern paper that will be the, the base of my background. And then I've got a couple of pattern papers that I have trimmed down and stitched along the edges to adhere to my background. I'm adhering them slightly to the right of the background just to um, add a little bit of interest and to make room for some embellishment clusters that I have um, that I want to try. So I'm just adhering those two pattern papers to the background using some double-sided tape. And then I have a couple of border stickers that I cut out from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that I want to put on the background as well. So I have this um, blue plaid border sticker that it doesn't it kind of blends into the background, but I wanted to balance out the scalloped edge that I am going to have here on the left side of the layout with this um, orange plaid scalloped border sticker. I love that border sticker. I wish that there was uh, two or three more of those on the sticker sheet because I would for sure use those. So it's time to adhere my photos to the background. I am using my T-square ruler to make sure that I have my photos straight. I'm curious, have you tried a T-square ruler? Do you like it? It seems like you either love a T-square ruler or you hate it. Let me know in the comments, comment section below. I'm curious um, how you feel about it. So I obviously love my T-square ruler. I use it on pretty much every single layout that I create. Um, I find it really easy to make sure that things are straight using a T-square ruler versus a regular ruler. If you'd like to try out a T-square ruler, there is a link to um, one in the description box below. So now that I have my title, or excuse me, my photos in place, I want to add my title. The title on this page is just Gone Fishing. It came from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and I'm adhering it with some pop dots. So now that I have my title and my photos in place, of course I want to add my journaling. I've pre-printed my journaling on a tag from the, there's a pattern paper that is all tags in the Great Outdoors collection, and tags are one of my favorite embellishments. So I fussy cut, I believe there's three tags on this project, and on one of them I printed my journaling. I did have to shift things over just a little bit because I wanted to, I didn't want to cover up that, the border sticker and that little strip of green pattern paper. So I printed my journaling just here on my printer at home. I used the American Typewriter Condensed font, and that's just my go-to font. I love the uh, simplicity of it and love that I can condense it or use it regular, depending on the size of uh, my journaling spot. And I printed it kind of with that weird shape uh, on towards the bottom and you'll see why in just a minute. So I have two more tags that I fussy cut from that pattern paper, and I'm just kind of fiddling with those. I want them to go there above the photo, but I have a hard time with the placement. I did stamp the date on the plaid tag, the one that I'm adhering right now, but here in just a minute, I, I kind of shake things up and decide to uh, change the date. I've got this cute uh, memories tab sticker from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I love tabs. They're another one of my favorite embellishments. 
And my favorite place to put tabs is either on the top of my photos or on the side of my photos. So once again, I go back and forth with the placement of, of these tags in the tab and ultimately it lands right. The tab and lands right there. And I re-stamp the date using black ink from scrapbook.com and my favorite date stamp. So now that I kind of have the placement of those two tags, I move on to a couple more fun embellishments that definitely have a fishing theme. Of course, if I'm doing a layout about fishing, I gotta use the fishing pole die cut, right? So I'm adhering that with some pop dots and I'm doing that because I want to be able to tuck some embellishments under and around this fishing pole. So I'm just using these uh, foam dots from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L to adhere the fishing pole. I'm adhering it in the upper left hand corner of this page opposite from uh, the focal point of my layout, which is the cluster with my title, photos, and journaling. So once I have that fishing pole adhered, I have a couple of embellishments that I want to place around that fishing pole. Of course, you got to put the little worm die cut on the hook of the fishing pole. So I just adhere that right on top of that die cut. And I really, anyway, I, worms are gross. I'm not, I don't, I don't love fishing, honestly, friends. Um, but it was such a cute, such cute die cuts that I couldn't resist um, using them. And of course, if you're going to have a fishing Hole, you've got to have some fishing line, right? So I'm using this uh, baker's twine from American Crafts. Let me know if you guys have this uh, baker's twine in your stash as well. They used to sell them in a big, huge uh, package with many different colors, and I still reach for these all the time. I have a couple spools in each color, but with that baker's twine, I just laid it on my layout going from the tag that's above the photos and then just looped it around and put the other end right underneath that uh, worm and fishing hook, hook die cut. I'm using a really fine tipped uh, glue, liquid glue to adhere that baker's twine. I'm gently lifting it up and then just adding the tiniest bit of glue and um, adhering it to the background. So one end of the baker's twine is under the little worm and the other one is looped through that plaid tag. And I'm just again using liquid glue to make sure that everything is in place. Today I am using art glitter glue that one can be a little harder to find, but you can also use Barely Art or use a fine liner bottle. Whatever liquid glue you have on hand that has a really fine tip would work great for this technique. So now that I have the main elements of my page in place, so I've got my title, photos, journaling, and the fun embellishment of the fishing pole and fishing line, done above the uh, at the top of the layout it's time to add a few more embellishments honestly i really struggled with embellishing this project i'm not sure why but i just went back and forth on several of the embellishments and anyway it was a kind of a frustrating project but i do love love the end result so this is why i printed my journaling in that funny shape is because I wanted to add this uh, bait bucket, the bucket of worms, next to the journaling. So I have two fish die cuts that I wanted to kind of enhance the title with. 
There are two fish just printed on that title, but I wanted to make them a little bit bigger and emphasize, um, emphasize the fish a little more. So I just put a little bit of double-sided tape on each of those fish and adhered them to either side of the title. So on the blue plaid tag, I added an enamel dot at the top. I didn't want to overwhelm the layout with too much baker's twine. So on the orange one though, I did want to add some baker's twine. And you saw just a moment ago that I looped the baker's twine through and then I toyed with the idea of looping it across the top of the layout and leaving it there. But I end up not doing that. I thought it was a little bit too busy for what I was going for on this project. So I ended up doing just a, a bow there at the top. So I have this fun um, cattail die cut and I'm adding some adhesive to that and I'll tuck that right under the right side of my title. The bottom of the die cut I'm adhering directly to the background and then the top of it I used some pop dots. So to fill that gap there next to the or I guess to the right of the worm bucket I adhered another another little worm. And at this point I believe this is when I um, oh no, I have one more little thing to add. And then I turned off my camera and honestly I couldn't sleep that night and I came back into my office and this project was laying on my desk and I added a few additional embellishments. So you'll notice I've got the tree to the left of the journaling. There's a compass there above the, the photos and then that bracket sticker there at the bottom. So thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend with me. If you haven't done so already, I would love to have you as a new subscriber here on my channel, and I will see you again soon.